question is, why does water not overflow even when filled a little over the rim? Because that makes sense, right? Um, it should, like, it makes sense that it would flow over because if where the glass ends, the water should start falling out, but it doesn't. You can have a little more water than what's um, usually required. So why this happens is because of surface tension. Um, surface tension allows water to do this, to have this property. And so, okay, so if you have a water molecule in the middle, right, it's being pulled on ev in every direction by every other water mo molecule. But if you have a water molecule at the very top, right, at the very surface of the water, um, there's nothing above it to pull it. There's no water molecule above to pull it. Only water molecules below it are going to pull on it. So what happens is, that's why like when you have a drop of water on a surface, you have the bead of water. It's like curved because at the top, everything's being pulled inward. So it, you get this curved appearance. Um, and that's, that's surface tension acting on it. Because surface, te surface tension is pulling in, um, letting it actually like be uh, elastic on the, at the top. And that's why, um, that's why water does not overflow.